I'm Matt Bichard with REIT.com, and joining me for this month's quick study of the REIT market is Brad Case, Nary Senior Vice President of Research and Industry Information. So Brad, let's start right, uh, right off at the top. How did REITs perform last month? Oh, well, so another very strong, strong uh, month for REITs. REITs uh, gained 3.3 percent during the month of March. It's been, you know, a continuation of a strong run. They've gained more than 8 percent since the beginning of the year, um, and it was a particularly strong month for uh, for mortgage REITs. Um, actually, gained 5.5 percent during the month of March. Now, what impact does the overall economy play on REIT performance right now? Yeah, I think r mainly what's going on is that there's there's increasing confidence that the economy is going to continue to improve. Um, and that that's going to be reflected in stronger uh, operating performance of commercial properties, uh, stronger rent growth, stronger occupancy levels, um, and that's likely to continue for some time. It's not going to be a very rapid uh, improvement in the economy, but there's, there's, there's more and more confidence that it's going to continue to get slowly better um, really every month uh, for, you know, for some time. Uh, you mentioned that mortgage REITs were one of the stronger performing sectors. What other sectors stood out either positively or negatively last month? Yeah, if you look at the two strongest performing sectors, they were timber REITs, which actually gained 7% during the month of March, and mortgage REITs, especially home mortgage REITs, which gained 6 and, six and a quarter percent during March. And I think in both cases, that's a story about the improvement in the housing market, um, in, in both, both the residential construction, which affects the demand for timber, and also in the uh, demand for houses, which affects the, uh, the home mortgage situation. Um, if you look at, and, and so that, that I think is a, is a story about the improvement in the overall economy and especially in the housing segment of the overall economy. If you look at the other strong, strong performing sectors, you know, the, the, the third best performance um, was the lodging sector. And that's, I think, uh, also a story about the improvement in the economy, but also uh, there's something else going on there, which is also true of the home mortgage rates, which is those are the two sectors, two, two of the sectors that particularly suffered during the downturn. And so part of what's going on is, 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 a, is making up for what we saw before. And, um, and that's actually useful when you look at the underperforming sectors. The weakest performing sector during March was apartment rates. And that's partly, uh, partly what's going on there is that apartment REITs performed well before. They were one of the best performing sectors during the earlier part of the recovery. And so uh, investors need to keep in mind that just as in the stock market, you know, individual companies move differently, sectors move differently, but fundamentally your exposure is to the business cycle and the stock market as a whole. So too in the REIT market, companies move differently, sectors move differently, but fundamentally you're invested in the real estate market cycle and the real estate industry. And speaking of cycles, REITs were, had a very strong first quarter of this year. What can investors take away from that as they look at the rest of the year? Yeah, it was a very strong, strong quarter. And as I mentioned, especially for mortgage REITs, which, which gained more than 17% during the first quarter alone. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that, is that the, the REITs, although it was a very strong quarter and a very strong month, in both cases they underperformed the broad stock market. And that's not, not, that's not that surprising because of the fact that the REIT market really did outperform the stock market over the last several years. Um, going forward, I think we're going to continue to see uh, a strong earnings growth, uh, both in the REIT market and also in the broader stock market. I won't be surprised if the, if the REIT market lags a little bit behind the broader stock market, given how much the stock market lagged earlier. Um, but I, I, uh, I will be surprised if we don't continue to see very strong earnings growth in the REIT, in the REIT industry, and I suspect that that'll, be, that'll continue to be reflected in their stock prices. Brad, thank you so much for joining us. Sure thing. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.